Okay, I'm going to show you how to use Audacity to uh, modulate a heartbeat um, waveform with uh, some pink noise. So I'm going to start up Audacity, start uh, all programs, um, Audacity, and um, got that started up. I'm going to load up a heartbeat next, so file, open, and heartbeat, and make a copy of it. All right, so here's my heartbeat. It's very soft. I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it with the microphone. All right, so now that we've got that, what we want to do is um, break this into two channels. We're only going to use the information out of the... Uh, uh, the left channel. Left is on top, right's on bottom. So the first thing we do is split. So we click this down. We want to split the stereo track. There we go. Now I can drop that track just by hitting the X. So it's dropped. Uh, what I want to do is add a track. So I'm going to add a new audio track. So now I've got a blank audio track. So I have in the left the heartbeat, and down here I got nothing right now. So what I want to do is make sure that track is selected. You can tell there's a slightly yellow highlight around it so we know it's selected. And then I'm going to click on generate and I'm going to generate noise. And the noise generator, I can choose uh, white, pink, or brown noise. We're going to take pink noise and um, use an amplitude of uh, 0 0.5. It goes from 0 to 1 or 0 to 100 percent. We're going to take 50 percent. And the duration is going to match the first channel, uh, which is good. So it's one minute exactly. So we click OK. And now on the top, we have our heartbeat. In the bottom, we have our pink noise. So if we play that back, it's going to be largely dominated by the pink noise. Uh, so I do that. And so about all you're going to be able to hear is pink noise over that. But you can see on the upper channel, the L, you see it pulsing away with the heartbeat. All right, so that was kind of uh, disturbing. What we want to do is join these back together as a stereo channel. So I click the drop down menu here and I make it into a stereo track. Cool. All right, so now we're going to do a little bit of Nyquist magic, which will allow us to uh, multiply this by this. So it'll sort of form kind of a noise gate that. Um, when this is uh, the amplitude from from this is going to be multiplied by the amplitude uh, down here, and it will create a new vector. So Nyquist magic. So if we click Effect, and we take Nyquist prompt right here. Um, when we're looking at this, you can see um, enter, uh, a Nyquist command. All right. So to to create the Nyquist command. Uh, we're going to use, it's kind of a Lisp-like language, but we put in um, vector. So we're going to create a new vector. And um, a vector is going to have a left and a right channel. So first we start with the right channel. Is it going to be a multiplication of the um, audio reference um, stereo channel 0 uh, times audio reference uh, stereo channel one. All right, and then the second part of the vector is doing the same thing. So, um, audio reference stereo uh, zero times audio reference stereo one. And then finally close it. All right, so basically what we're going to do is we're creating a new vector, and we're basing it on the uh, the new vector, the, the left and the right channels. So I'm sorry, the left's on the top, the right channel's on the bottom. The left channel's going to be a multiplication of the audio reference from signal 0 um, times the audio reference of signal 1, and then we're going to repeat that on the bottom channel too. So now we click OK, and it works its magic. And now you can see in the left channel we have the... Um, uh, still a heartbeat, um, and in the right channel we have heartbeat. So let's play that back and hear what we've got. I think you can hear that. 
So that is the um, pink noise modulated with heartbeat. That's awesome. Uh, we could save that now if we wanted to. Uh, save project as, or we could export it. Um, you're probably going to want to export it. And then you have the um, a chance to, uh, I'm going to call it heartbeat pink noise, and we can save it. We can export it into like a, a WAV file, PCM WAV file, MP3, Ogvobus. Probably the, the WAV file is going to have the most utility for you. And then we click Save. And, and I'm just going to overwrite the one I did before. And then there's an extra metadata you can put in, fill out these tags if you really wanted to. We click OK. And ta -da! we're all done. All right, so that's how you do it. OK, now there's one more thing you know, um, that I want to tell you about is, is that this, is, this, to me, sounds a little bit harsh. Uh, and it may not be what you were expecting. So I'm going to use a different effect that's going to stretch the um, stretch the heartbeat out just a tiny bit, so you can uh, ca it captures a little more of the pink noise character. Uh, and I'm going to use another um, effect, and the effect is called a Paul stretch. And what we're going to do is we're only going to put a we're going to put a stretch factor in of, of one. Um, and then we can put in the time resolution on the stretch factor. Um, I'm just going to use 0.1. So stretch factor of 1, time resolution 0.1 second. Uh, click OK. And now it's going to process it. And now when we listen to it, it's quite a bit softer. And this is probably what more what you were looking for in terms of the modulation, because it, it um, allows the pink noise character to be a little more apparent. And again, we could now save this or export it. So we're going to export and we'll call this one Heartbeat Pink um, Noise with Paul Stretch. Uh, one, 0.1, and save that. Oops, I have to save that one in there. There we go. All saved. And that's it. Thanks for listening.